Yeah, it's having some rough running. Uh, like between 45 and 65, I would get a weird little shudder here and there, then things started getting worse and worse. And now, it, it uh, the check engine light was flashing just for a little bit here and there, then it stopped. And I couldn't get a code, then it started doing it again, and I got was able to get a code. So let's just take a look and see what happens here. Now I got a solid check engine light, and the car is running like crap all the time. So let's just uh, press enter, it's scanning, reading. P306. So that that means. So anyway, that. Let's see here. Anything else? Well, 316. That's a new one. I had 306 before, and I have 316. And I'll have to take a look at that one here. But uh, anyway, I got to fix this thing. 306 means it's uh, 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 missing on cylinder number six. So uh, we'll find out what 316 means. But uh, just in case, I got new spark plugs and a new coil, and uh, I just gotta get this thing fixed, and I'll keep throwing parts at it till it's done. Okay, I looked up P316, and 316 is almost the same as P306, and it says startup uh, detected on cylinder number six at startup. So I guess for the first revolutions, it or first thousand re revolutions, right? At startup, it detected something on cylinder number six. So. Here we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So uh, first thing we gotta do is take off this cover and I got a quarter inch ratchet and there's a bolt on the top here and we'll un unscrew that. Yeah, things are not so pretty in here. You can see a bit of an oil leak down underneath there. You can kind of see like there's a bit of a pool of an oil, oil right down there. But uh, anyway, uh, enough distraction. I need to get down underneath this thing here. You can kind of see the number five and the number six, oops, boy, I gotta get on camera. Number five and the number six COP, coil on plug. And so anyway, this is the one I wanna get to. So I'm gonna have to uh, take off, uh, un unscrew this bellows here with a screwdriver. And then uh, we'll take this thing off and, and get it all out of the way. And then we'll be able to get to it. So for this air bellows, we have, uh, a uh, screwdriver to uh, undo this thing right there. A screwdriver to undo this thing right over there. And then you can see this bolt right there. That's going to take a 7 16 inch deep socket. And then this whole bellows assembly will come off. Or the intake assembly, whatever you want to call it. Okay, we got the intake bellows off. Now I can get a better look. You can see the number 5 cylinder coil, number 6 cylinder coil. And then you can see the, the injector for number 5 and the injector for number 6. And this nice aluminum piece up here is the the fuel rail. Okay, I used a seven millimeter socket, and I removed uh, the bolt holding down the the coil. You can kind of see where the bolt went in, went right right through that little hole right there. And this thing pulled out really easy, and uh, there's a bit of oil. I've wiped it off. There's a, you can see there's a little bit of residue here, but I kind of wiped it off. There's a bit of oil in here, and you can see the spark plug. And I'm going to take out that little spark plug. We'll take a look at it. You know, I just started to put the, my spark plug wrench in the hole. So it's a 5 8 inch spark plug wrench. And, you know, the spark plug wrenches, you know, have a, a rubber insert in there so they'll grip the spark plug. Make sure you got one. But, uh, boy, oh boy, look at all that oil. And since I happen to have an air compressor, it's always nice to blow out. Oh my gosh. Anyway, get all that crap out of there so it won't be falling down the sport plug full. If you got an air, air, air compressor, if you don't, well, uh, what are you gonna do? Well, there's a spark plug. A lot of oil around there, but the spark plug looks pretty darn good. So I don't see any problems there. It's not foul, but it's gotta be the, the coil on the plug or else uh, maybe fuel injector, maybe something really bad, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's the coil. We'll find out. Okay, now for the moment of truth here. I'm just going to uh, Try to erase the codes I have. Race done. Okay, it says I have zero codes. So I'll start the car up and see what happens. Well, the, the check engine light is off. 
seems to run right, nice and smooth. I think uh, we're okay here. I think we're okay. 